how to stop looking for validation. Stop holding grudges. Forgive those who have wronged you, who have doubted you. This is one I had to learn myself and I am still learning because I learned that validation comes from wanting acceptance. You know, either that or you want some revenge, you want get back, which is still in a sense is acceptance. If you was in high school and the woman in high school gave you no play. Now you want to become rich so you can show her how good you're doing. You need that validation that she effed up. You need that acceptance. That Grammy speech, all the women who didn't give me a chance, now look, I'm successful. That validation. So in order to help you get over validation, we have to stop holding grudges to our parents. Maybe your, your mom or your father or your grandfather or your uncle, whoever raised you, didn't feel you were good enough. Your step parents, your big brother, your big sister. They didn't feel you were good enough. So either you're, you're craving it from a please standpoint or you're wanting it revengeful. I'm going to show you. Watch, I'm going to show you. We got to let go of that hurt. As kings, we got to forgive. Like they say, don't forgive for them, but forgive for you. Get used to not being validated. This is just a little challenge. Start validating yourself. Because in a sense, as humans, we all do need validation, but it's how you go about it. So, for example, start challenging yourself to do the opposite of what validation you crave. So for example, let's say there's an attractive woman who you live next door to. You can be as alpha as you want, but let's just say there's an attractive woman you live next door to and you always want her to see you at your best. This is harming your process in overcoming validation become because you are still craving that acceptance so a little challenge for you is to do the opposite now when you go to the gym now when you go to work now when you go check your mail and your beautiful neighbors out there do the opposite let her catch you on a day you ain't looking your best let her catch you on a day this don't mean you don't have to be your best in life. Yeah, you're still going to the gym. Yeah, you're still dressing nice because you like to. But you're just not needing her validation. You're not needing her acceptance. So now you go check your mailbox and your attractive neighbors out there and your hair ain't cut. You know, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you may have your pajamas on or, you know what I'm saying, just a regular t-shirt to go work out. Small things like this help you overcome the need for people to like you, the need for people to accept you, the need to be validated. So challenge yourself to do that. And like I said, the best validation is self-validation. Self Stick to your guns. Learn to stand on things that you think and that you value and that you validate. So I'm going to use clothes again as an example. Let's say you got this outfit on and you love this outfit. You are evaluated to yourself. You looked in the mirror, this outfit swagged out. Then you go around your homeboys and they clown you for the outfit. You go around your family, they laugh at you for the outfit. You go around females and they, they don't look at the outfit. They don't care about it. Or maybe they do look at it and they laugh at it. Stick to your guns. If you thought that outfit was dope, I tell myself this all the time. I would rather me like something and the world hate it then the world likes something and i hate it so let's get you there as well let's get you to that level as a king and tell yourself that for now on. so i'll give you an example 
Sometimes I might be getting dressed, right? I'll use this as an example. I might like how my chains look like this. And I'm trying to decide, should I leave my chains like this or should I leave them like this? I might ask the women around me, you know, sisters or, you know, whatever, your mother or whoever, whoever's around. Your friends, your own girl, let's say they like, man, it looks dope like this. But you was looking and you kind of like it like that, man. You like it better like this. Don't fold. Wear it like that. This is a, a practice in helping you become more self-acceptance of self-validation, if that makes sense. The last say so and the only opinion that matters is yours. So even though everybody just told you they like it out, no, nah, I'm rocking it in like this because I like it in. It actually looks nice in to me. So I'm rocking it in. See that? Mm -hmm. I like that. And work on doing that more. This doesn't mean you can't take input or feedback from people. I'm not saying that. It's just simply not budging on what you truly like. Stick to your guns. Don't forget to hit that like button. We got to get these likes up. Help me get these videos out there to young kings out there who are looking to be the best versions of themselves. Let's build this brotherhood for young men. Women have feminists. Women have a million communities and sisterhoods. It's time for us to have brotherhood. But I need your help getting these videos out there to help other men to value themselves more, to work on themselves, physical, mental, and spiritual. So hit those like buttons. Don't forget to drop down in the comment section what we're talking about next, what you want to discuss, advice, anything, relationship advice, workout advice, life advice. Drop it down in the comment section. And if I can't answer, I'm sure somebody else in the comment section can answer it because it's a brotherhood. Don't forget to, forget to hit the subscribe button and turn post notifications on so you can be notified when I drop these videos so you do not miss out on content. Love you guys. Till next time, Alpha Sincere Salute.